going on guys welcome back to another vulture video yeah i said it another vulture video absolutely love this guy i've been using him a lot and if you guys been following me you've been seeing that if you're tired of seeing vulture i apologize but you're gonna see him a whole lot more absolutely love this guy he is a monster so i can't stop using him for today we're gonna be tackling one of the hardest modes inside shadowland one that is actually so hard that even after Netmarble overhauled the Shadowland stages for the 3.3 update, from what I can tell, they didn't actually touch this stage. It's crazy. The Malekith stage is actually one of the few stages in Shadowland that I absolutely avoid every single time I run through Shadowland just because of how aggravating it is. It's crazy. And the reason why it's so annoying is that Malekith has some really nasty freaking bleed damage. All he has to do is touch you once throughout the course of that fight. And unless your character has a really large HP pool, you're assured to die, even if you're using tier 2 characters. Well, there are exceptions if you have a really crazy amount of heals on those characters, they can survive it. But for the majority of characters, they can't survive this stage right here. It's pretty freaking nasty. Okay, even for someone like Vulture who is an iframe god, he can die because there are slight gaps in between his iframes when he's using them. And when you as a player is switching from iframes to iframes, you can get caught in that slight second if you are slow and you can die it's happened to me several times and it will happen to you if you are not careful okay so let me go ahead and show you guys his build and then we can jump right in the only way for me to solo this is to flawless it but yeah that is actually the only way i can do it using vulture if i get hit once i'm pretty much dead because of the bleed because that's always what i get hit with if you're lucky and you get hit and it's not the bleed your stars, well, I should say the stars were aligned for you on that day, my friend. Anyways, details, guys, details. Right here, as you guys can see, 124 for attack speed, 57% for crit rate, 190 for critical damage, 50% for ignore defense, and 50% for reduce cooldown duration. Now, if you guys are noticing that something is off right here, you will notice that my ignore defense is capped, which is the 50% that is the cap. And whenever stats are capped off, they glow yellow. Now, if you take a look at my reduced cooldown duration, that's at 50% and that is also the cap. And for some reason, it is not glowing yellow. Not sure what's going on there. Let me know if you guys are aware if this is happening to you as well. Kind of looks like Netmarble is doing something in the background. Should be interesting to see what they're actually doing. Let's hope they're not raising the cap for skill cooldown because that would really, really grind my gears. Anyways, right here, as for his gears, we have them at 19 and 18s because I've been putting a little bit of work in my vulture, farming up those bios. Still a long way from tier two, unfortunately, because this is the hard part. This is where it starts taking like 20, 30 tries just to get one gear up, okay? So show you guys what the gears are looking like. Last one is critical damage because I want to get to that cap of 200. And as soon as I get his gears maxed out, I'll be slapping some ooze on this monstrosity right here. Skills are all at 6, and if you guys haven't seen any of the videos that I've used Vulture in, I pretty much only use 5, 4, and 1, because with max skill cooldown, I can stay in a state of just constant iframes, 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 and his damage is spectacular, so it is amazing to watch this guy work. Truly is. Absolutely love him as a character in this game. <laughs> it's crazy because I don't like him in the comics. Anyways, Overdrive is the ISO set of choice. Probably the best possible option for him. So if you're rolling for him, try to go for this. But this is a really hard ISO set to go for. So if you get Power Fangy Hulk, go with that because the attack speed will definitely help. Okay, he doesn't need it, but having faster skills is definitely not a bad thing in my personal opinion. Right here, I have Ignore Dodge just because I want him to be able to kill some of the other speed characters. <coughs> Spider-Man, if you know what I mean. And we got some crit damage, which is great. And I have Invincibility just in case he actually gets hit outside of his iframes. 
but for you guys you can go ahead and put a damage proc here and that's gonna make him even more of a monster uniform is untouched that's because I'm not really one of those people who upgrades uniform I literally have none of my uniforms in this game upgraded I have a bunch of tickets and stuff but I don't know uniform upgrades are not for me it's just such a fickle system so I'm not a part of it looks like a cash grab because it is a cash grab if there ever comes a time in this game when I need like literally need cannot clear something in the game without upgrading a uniform for a character then and only then I will upgrade a uniform and that's all I have to say in regards to that now let's jump into Shadowland and have a little bit of fun with the vulture boys let's do it for 12 let's play Malekith I have come for revenge let's play so 541 guys that is it wish me luck you almost got me there so we're gonna keep him in this corner and we're just gonna massacre him forget the mobs the mobs will get killed by proxy Yeah, run. Run if you can. Because he knows that literally all he has to do is touch me once. But we're not going to let that happen, guys. And there you guys have it, under a minute. This guy just decimated one of the hardest freaking modes in Shadowland. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. And that's all I have to share for this one, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.